there's a common misconception that people will become iron deficient if they don't consume animal products. However, there are many excellent sources of iron on a plant-based diet, such as broccoli, kale, collard greens, spinach, Swiss chard, nuts, lentils, whole grains, beans, to name a few. The iron found in plants is called non-heme iron, and it's said to be actually safer than the other form of iron, called heme iron, which is found in animal flesh. Heme iron is said to be better absorbed than non-heme, but is this really a good thing? Iron is of course vital, but it is a pro-oxidant, and excessive absorption of iron can contribute to inflammatory and degenerative diseases. The reason non-heme iron is thought to be safer is because our bodies can regulate the absorption of it significantly better than it can with heme iron. These studies confirm this as they found that the absorption of heme iron was considerably less regulated than that of non-heme iron. And so a high intake can lead to excess iron absorption, which can be dangerous. Heme iron has also been linked to colorectal cancer, type 2 diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, and many different cancers. All the study links will be in the description below. In his recent Q&A, Dr. Michael Greger addressed the issue of iron deficiency, why it may arise, how to interpret your blood tests, and then what we can do if we are iron deficient. Let's take a listen. You know, vegans, vegetarians don't have greater rates of iron deficiency anemia, even menstruating women, than those eating conventional diets. Ferritin is kind of a storage form of iron. What matters is what one's hemoglobin is. If you get a complete blood count, you get a hemoglobin value, and that determines whether or not you're anemic. So actually, the ideal state is to have low iron stores, because iron acts as a pro-oxidant, but not too low, not low enough to actually hurt your hemoglobin, because your body needs iron to create blood cells, if you have enough blood cells, then you have enough iron. As long as your hemoglobin is fine, I'm not worried about your ferritin. If, however, you have low hemoglobin and low ferritin, you may have iron deficiency anemia. Now, there's lots of reasons you can get iron deficiency anemia. You can be losing blood, so if you have really heavy periods, or you may have microscopic blood loss in your gastrointestinal tract, or you're not making enough blood, which could be an iron issue or B12 issue or other types of problems in your bone marrow, perhaps, or your spleen can be chewing up your red blood cells too quickly. They only last about four months. Lots of reasons you could have anemia, one of which may be iron deficiency anemia. And if that is the case, your first step would be to eat vitamin C rich foods with your meals. Are there any studies that back up this idea that vitamin C can really help reverse iron deficiency? And if so, how much vitamin C do we need to take? Well, this study found that different doses of phytate, which are found in unsoaked beans, legumes and whole grains, reduced iron absorption by 10 to 50%. However, by adding just 50 milligrams of vitamin C, this counteracted the phytates, and when they added 150 milligrams of vitamin C, the iron absorption was increased to nearly 30%. In this study, children in India who had anemia and low vitamin C intakes were given 100 milligrams of vitamin C at lunch and dinner for 60 days. The children experienced a drastic improvement in their anemia, with most making a full recovery. And in this study, researchers used 500 milligrams of vitamin C twice daily after meals to increase haemoglobin and serum ferritin. They concluded that vitamin C was more effective at increasing iron status than iron supplements. Here's a table of foods that contain the most vitamin C. Leafy greens are also high in vitamin C, such as kale, collards and Swiss chard. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.